Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial about the Vinci iPad app and today a really quick one to show you how I can define what part of the clip can I bring to the timeline, the duration of it and how I can extend the duration of it without overwriting through other clips. So let me show you, I have here a video clip and I don't want to bring it all its extension to the timeline, I just want to bring a part of it. So the easiest way to do it is when I have the video selected, I come here to this point or I just select a part of the video that I want to, it to start in the timeline, let's say over here, and I set it to the in point by clicking here. And then I want it to end just here and I put that point over there and I select this icon, the out point, and now as you can see here, only this part of the video is selected. And if I bring it to the timeline, I only brought that part of the video and not its full extension. Now, if I want to bring another video, I can do exactly the same thing. As you can see here, I already have set two points, the in point here and out point here. I do the same and now I bring it to the timeline very easily and that's it. So what happens if I want to uh, extend the duration of this video clip in my timeline. Well, I can do it very easily. I just go to this part here of the video and I just push it to the right and look what happened. It's going just uh, all the way until I want it. And now I have a much bigger part of the video in my timeline. However, if you, if you saw what happened, I just overwrote the other clip that was in front of this video. What if I don't want that to happen? I want this video to be further down, but I don't want it to overwrite. Can I do it? Well, actually we can do it. Let me bring it just to the beginning. And as you can see here, once again, I select it, I double click it on it. And instead of having this icon selected, I'm gonna select this one. And now I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna set the out point here. And once I do that, if I click this, look what happens to the timeline. It extends all the clip, but pushes the next one to the front. No overwriting of it. You could actually do it directly here in the timeline, but sometimes for some reason, I do not understand why, sometimes it just doesn't work very well. So the best way to assure that that doesn't happen is just double clicking the clip and here setting your in point and out point. And if you don't want the new uh, clip duration to overwrite the clips in front of you, just have this option selected instead of this one. But now with this option selected, you can even do uh, something uh, nicer. Imagine that I still want the video to be here, this duration, but instead of having this part here, I wanna have it some different part of the video. Can I do it? Well, actually I can do it. And how? Well, with this option selected, just go to the clip inside of the timeline and just go one side and the other and look what's happening. He's selecting another part. You can see here how long the video is. And if I, I'm scrubbing just up to the end, I can go the other way around and look, I'm pushing. This is how long the video is actually, but I just have a small part of it in the timeline and I'm not overwriting nor pushing nothing forward just changing what kind of video I do have here in the timeline from this video clip. Okay guys, hope you found this video useful. See you at my next video.